let's get rid of the way I lean presentation. So I don't have a PowerPoint. So I'm uh, the project lead of the asset management <coughs> and optimization group. So it's a new program which was uh, introduced last year. So it is very data-based uh, things, but what we also had, we had a program on uh, scanning pipes, and this trial was finished last, last time when we were here, and there was not a good outcome. So we, we didn't really uh, get the results we wanted, and Southeast Water wanted to do a trial with a Canadian company, but it didn't eventuate. So as David, uh, John said, I'm also looking after the pump checker program. So that's progressing. So we found a company called SAG. So Garden Valley Water has started to talk to them and we provided them data. So they come back now with a proposal on um, how we go forward there. So, and then I was giving the program which David was having on his list as well, which is Seams. And Seams is a data software with, where you can predict when an asset fails, but it also looks at the maintenance cost and the uh, capex cost, and then at what point you actually can replace an asset or should replace an asset. So this is all in this package, and we, we couldn't really find uh, participants for the program, and since yesterday I've been told that Western Water, and I think Dean can assist us there, has in principle agreed to participate, which would have been the third uh, what authority we need and it only needs now some ink to actually put pen to paper and sign it off so I hope you <laughs> can drive this so then and the most interesting for the we have also established a working group so the most Im uh, important one for the entire working group was to have the MRWA portal as a Victorian portal and thanks to David, we had some uh, issues that, that it couldn't go ahead we, as we planned, but uh, it <coughs> can go now ahead. And with this program, I uh, have a program manager, a project manager for this from Garden Valley Water. He will work together with Southeast Water and incorporate all the other participants in this project and then take it from there. So Colin, I think, is on leave. And then when he comes back, then we move on there as well. So then the working group also wanted to have an asset management tool to assist with the AMF attestation. So we were very close to the attestation, so we, we said we wait after the attestation. So in the meantime, I found a, KM, a KPMG tool as well. KPMG also does an audit on the attestation for the government, so they have inside in the entire process. But I heard today, Gips, Gippsland Water actually has done a trial already, so I will, after this session, I will talk with him about it and, and get information, and then we will get around and get a survey done to find out what are the best tools used for the attestation, and then come up with a recommendation. So, while I'm, I'm doing other things as well, and one thing is I'm now also have given the portfolio for the dams. So I went to a meeting there, uh, and Big Water there struggles with putting their knowledge into their, uh, into a platform where everyone can access it. And I said, IWN actually div uh, provides one of those. So I will look into getting the dam knowledge somehow into the platform we provide to share knowledge within IWN that, they, that there is a, a portal for dams as well so we can actually share all the information of the water industry at one spot. So, a damn good idea. A damn good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what also because I, I got the dam portfolio <coughs> given to me so I, I'm getting more and more under stress and I had an incident as well with the knee injury. So, it was always me who did all the projects. So what I have did is I find for all the projects, a project manager who runs them. So I found to most of them, there's one project which is a 
was a working group, which is the innovation working group. And they go out to Perth, they go to Sydney, they go all over the place. It is a forum where David, I think, was part of as well, to some extent, one time. But it would be for IWN, because it's not just about asset management, about everything. If someone is interested to be the representative for IWN on WASA, I would quite happily give it to him. <laughs> oh, oh. So that's about the program. But I like to, and I'm luckily the last person here, so I think I'd like to share a good, good story about IWN. So we have currently a situation in Chaplin where our outfall pump station is, some people would say, buggered. And my German accent doesn't help here, personally. <laughs> but so we, we couldn't isolate the pump station. And we had problems with valves. The pumps are leaking. And if this pump station fails, all of Chaplin will be full with short. So, but fortunately, um, I got an email one day about a new product. It was sent to Dean and myself. It was about sealing a valve at the top. But halfway through the brochure, there was another tool, which was a spin doctor. There's one product, spin doctor, we can maneuver valves open. But this one actually is different. It has a vibrator on it. And it rattles it free and, and has hydraulic. So we found this, and we hope that we get out of a desolate situation with this new tool. So on 23rd of uh, this month, we do a trial with this product, and fingers crossed, and touch wood. It all works out well, because then we, we don't have to get uh, in an inflation bag, which costs us half a million dollars. So the time he will be on site will be $5,000. If he can't do it this way, we have to pay half a million dollars. So and this is only because. I'm part of IWN. Okay, with those words, I say thank you.